How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be explaining how to use your created ball player at any position and this is going to include any type of build at any position. So let's go ahead and get into it. I have created a couple videos talking about how to build the best ball player, talking about uh, different builds that I've created, both starting pitchers, relief pitchers, and position players. Uh, essentially we are going to talk about how to use the Hawk build or the Hawk loadout at every single position all right and this is an example of the hawk loadout i have created this card art using the showzone.com pretty cool website uh, from someone in the mlb the show community it allows you to create your own card arts and player cards with that said this is a different type of hawk build notice the attributes have changed a little bit we have a little bit less power and a little bit more fielding i think that this type of build would fit a shortstop or an outfielder a little bit better than the previous build which was mainly designed for a catcher okay so i'm going to explain how to use this build at different positions in mlb the show 21. just so you know this is legit here is a screenshot of the in-game attributes once this equipment has been applied i have talked about uh, these specific builds and i will talk about the variations within this hawk build uh, during this video but basically what you're going to need to do is create a variety of different ball players okay you're going to need uh, the maximum amount would be ideal I've created the maximum amount of loadouts that is possible and it's going to help because I have a couple different pitchers I have a couple different position players and it's very easy to interchange these ball players out it's very easy to uh, swap out the equipment swap out the different perks and builds that you would like to create for your ball players loadout all right so uh, if you do this and you're able to you know mess with it a little bit you can also create a two-way ball player which i have done i talked about it i made a video on it and this relief pitcher slash starting pitcher helped me make world series with that being said we have a variety of loadouts listed here if you scroll up to the top left hand side of your screen you'll see your icon and you can go into your different loadouts all right you'll be able to activate these specific loadouts and your position will change i'm going to give you a quick video clip of me activating all of my loadouts and you will be able to see the position change this is the most important thing when using one specific build at a variety of positions okay so as you can see i have maxed out the amount of loadouts that you have available and as i am activating each of these loadouts you can see the primary position is going to change from shortstop to catcher to starting pitcher to relief pitcher to back to starting pitcher uh, specifically designed to regain stamina uh, but we'll talk about that in a minute here we've encountered a little bit of a glitch here we go to center field here we go to second base here we go to third base as you grind through these programs you are able to unlock all of the positions on the baseball field and the only position i don't have available is right field currently i think if i were to grind out you know maybe slick fielder i would be able to earn uh, a uh, a right fielding position loadout all right that's all you really need in order to activate one specific loadout here i'm going through the hawk and what i have activated on the hawk as we're going through this i'll explain exactly how to use your creative ball player at any position with one specific loadout so i have the hawk absolutely maxed out completely the only thing i can increase is the blocking attribute and the drag bunting and bunting attribute now with the hawk build specifically i wouldn't be able to increase the blocking attribute in road to the show i would have to activate my catcher's build and then simulate the road to the show in order to earn that blocking attribute development session that is a little bit off topic but i'm trying to include as many tips as possible the way we are going to get our creative player into that catcher spot uh, in the correct position in his primary would be by activating our catcher build okay this is actually the slick fielding bronze build i haven't really uh, completed this slick fielding program i have not really grinded out a diamond uh, loadout that has a primary position of catcher but we do have a bronze one i have activated it here okay we're now going to go into a game of rank seasons i'm not actually going to play the game of rank seasons but i'm going to add pablo sanchez to the roster okay as long as you have your player activated with the correct build you'll see them at a 65 overall 
at their respective position and they will be in their primary position. As you can see here, it compares, you know, Joe Torre, uh, catcher out of position to Pablo Sanchez in his primary position. Now, those attributes for Pablo Sanchez are completely messed up. Once you actually add him to the lineup and activate the correct build that you want to when you get into the game, then the attributes will be fixed. You'll be able to have the Hawk attributes at every single position. But first, you need to activate this catcher's loadout right here. Okay, so I have selected my creative player at the catcher position. I've activated him there. He's playing catcher. And now I'm going to activate this loadout. He's now in that spot. Okay, he's batting third in the lineup. He is playing catcher. We're going into a ranked seasons game. I select the Hawk build. Now he's going to have the Hawk attributes at a primary position of catcher. Okay, and you can do that for a variety of different positions. I'm going to now show you how to change your create a ball player from a starting pitcher to a relief pitcher. I have activated my starting pitcher build. I'm going to go in to the starting pitcher pool. All right, I'm going to scroll through. And let's say, for example, you're starting to scroll through and you think about it, you're like, nope, I want to use my creative player and also rest that other pitcher, Edward Cabrera, that I was about to swap out. So now I'm still looking for this creative player, Pablo Sanchez. There he is, 65 overall. We place him in the starting lineup and now we have our starting pitcher build activated. Now here's the thing to keep in mind. The best build in this game, in my opinion, is the Pedro build. And the Pedro build is only available for relief pitchers and you can only activate that Pedro build as a relief pitcher. Uh, so that's exactly what I'm going to show you next, right? We're going to use uh, a Pedro build relief pitcher and we can actually start this card. I've done it, I showed that in my video. Uh, but one other thing to keep in mind is as I do this, as I put this Pedro pitcher in my lineup, since I've used my creative ball player at catcher, since using him at pitcher, he's actually regained stamina. So that's another interesting glitch slash tip slash exploit uh, loophole that I wanted to mention. But once we activate this RP Pedro build, he will be in there and you can see that he has regained energy even though I have not had him in the bullpen or the rotation for any games of ranked seasons in between the game that he started recently. Okay, I've only used my catcher. Obviously, he was playing a position. Uh, I guess he was regaining stamina. Another thing to keep in mind as you're doing this, if you have different equipment on your creative player as you're activating those positions and swapping them in and out, I noticed this mainly when I went from a catcher to a pitcher, your fielding glove and your cleats will actually swap out uh, depending on which ones you have activated on specific builds. So you have to make sure that your equipment is activated for the specific position that you want out there. You have to also make sure that your position is activated, right? If I'm using my catcher, I have to go in to my ball player, activate the catcher build, and then select the Hawk build each and every game of ranked seasons. Even if you lose connection, even if you have like a server uh, unhandled error or exception error, whatever that happens, uh, you have to redo it over again. But with that said, I'm not making too many changes with my builds. I'm really just swapping out the, the fielding glove and the cleats as well as uh, power seven for the catcher build and then fielding six for a shortstop or an outfielder. But that's how to use a creative ball player at any position. I'm College Lefty and hopefully I was able to help you out in some way. Peace out.